Hi there, welcome back. Well, this one took a bit longer to produce this uh, video because I have been waiting for stuff, um, as usual. Um, mainly, as you probably are aware, if uh, you've been following the series, we've got one ECL 86 blown and I'm waiting for that. It's been ordered, but it's going to take a while. And the other thing is the ECH81 over there. That one, I had one uh, that I replaced it with, so that's fine. And the other thing I'm waiting for is a Bluetooth module, which I've ordered, but again, have to wait. And that's uh, part of the restoration process when you're living on an island like Madeira. You order and you wait. Now, the fact that we're missing one ECL86 and the fact that the Bluetooth module isn't installed is not a reason to delay this project because I can fit those in at a later date. And therefore I decided just to give you a look at uh, where this is at the moment and complete the series. I did do a little bit of alignment, but very, very little. It was actually quite spot on. It looks like nobody had really messed with the, with the screws for a change. And um, since I've actually shown numerous alignments in the past, this one wasn't really that interesting, so I decided not to include that in the video. But as I said, it really had nothing mysterious here. It was pretty spot on. First of all, we look at the final restoration stages that still hadn't been covered. And one of them was the um, cleanup of the front panel, the glass face and all the buttons and uh, knobs that we had on here. As you can see, these things cleaned up very well. They are actually a yellow color, but this is the original color. But all the grime has been taken off and they came out pretty well. The same can be said for the piano keys. They were working perfectly. There's a little bit of sign of wear on them, which is inevitable and actually desirable if you think about it. But they came out beautifully. Those two knobs at the end there as well. Everything's working perfectly. And then of course, the actual faceplate itself, which was in perfect condition. All it took was some careful cleaning. And I mean careful because this thing is really important. If you mess this up, if you break the faceplate, you're in for a big, big, big slog to try and replace that. Practically impossible. Having said that, I've actually redesigned and built a faceplate, rebuilt the faceplate for one of the, in one of the restorations I did, it's the Brown Atelier 3, where I drew up every single detail on the faceplate and then had it rebuilt or redone on acrylic. If you want to see that, I'll link it up above. And it actually came out very, very well. Anyway, let's carry on. The transformer I'd shown you before is looking good, working very well. And if we look at the inside, this is about as much cleaning as one can do, believe me. Looking great, to me anyway. Let's have a look at how shortwave reception is on this radio. I'm using the mini whip antenna, which I've uh, repeatedly bragged about. It's a brilliant piece of kit, receives very, very well. And it is about 7, 6.30 p.m. We'll see what we're getting. Pardon the bar in the way. I just want you to see the operation of the fine tuning on this. So let's start. Dynamo de Zagreb, 
l'actualité de la BBC Matin. Bonne soirée de la BBC, la radio de référence. The fine tuning is especially important when you get to a really congested commercial band. Yeah, we've actually got one of the amateur bands coming through. And there we have it. What we've noticed, what I've noticed, is that this thing is particularly, it's very sensitive. And uh, with the fine tuning band here, or uh, knob, it makes selectivity excellent. Uh, this is a particular time of the day when shortwave is uh, received quite well over here. So um, that gives you an idea of just how good this radio is. And um, although I'm not so sure how much it's going to be used uh, for this function, it certainly receives very well. Let's try the medium wave. pero ellos arropando, podemos decirlo de esta manera, ¿no? Sí, la verdad que no me puedo quejar que mi familia siempre ha estado con... La de las relaciones, es como si... ¿No? Que como todos, todos, todos acabamos estando en las manos. Most of these stations are from the Canary Islands. No, 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 no,
there you can actually notice a slight difference when you rotate the antenna. But uh, because I use the mini whip, that thing is never operational. It picks up perfectly without it. So let's try long wave. I'm not sure what we'll get at this time of day. Not much there this time of day. It's better in the evening. I will try FM. And I have the FM antenna stuck in the back. Now, of course, we're uh, rotating the inner knob, which is the FM one. This little speaker can't handle it, but it's pretty clear. And there we have it. FM. The next stage would be the uh, pickup input selector with uh, the Bluetooth receiver. And that obviously we're starting to get into trying to reproduce quality sound, um, hi fi sound, if you will. But obviously, with a small speaker like the one I'm using here, it's not going to do justice, and I don't have the Bluetooth connected in anyway. Anyway, this uh, has been quite a challenge, as I've mentioned before, because this radio belongs to a professional restorer who spends her time uh, bringing uh, a lot of ancient artwork back to life. It's a talent which I don't claim to have, but it is a talent that I wish I could uh, learn more of and apply to these things, because... Basically, we're doing a, a sort of a similar thing, trying to get these uh, old beauties working and, and looking good again. There's always a fine line between making it, uh, restoring it and renewing it. So we have to be careful how we go about it. And I really hope that uh, this meets with her approval, because as I've said before, this is in a way a uh, finals exam for all the radios I've been doing. And so far, I think I've done about 50 of them. Not all of them have been uh, video series. And I've never had anybody with her critical eye actually give me a, uh, an appraisal of the result. So I'm anxious. And, uh, but looking forward to getting this back to her as soon as I've replaced the tube and as soon as I've uh, got the Bluetooth module operational, connecting it into this cabinet. It's a radiogram cabinet, as I've mentioned. And it has some amazing speakers, so the sound should be phenomenal. And then again, obviously, looking forward to the next one. And I want to thank you all for staying with me, watching the series. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. I certainly have. And uh, if you like it, please subscribe and come back again. Look for the next one that should be soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>